In email marketing, there are four emails you should be sending to your list on a regular basis. This lesson is included in Ezra Firestone's full course on the introduction to email marketing for small e-commerce brands, which you can access for free using the link below. Otherwise, enjoy the lesson. Hi, my name is Ezra Firestone. I'm the CEO of Boom by Cindy Joseph, a Shopify store that has done over $73 million in revenue in the past four years alone. I also get the opportunity to teach what works for me in my business at my blog, Smart Marketer. And in this video, I wanna share with you on behalf of Privy, what's working for us in relationship to email marketing. So what you have to understand about e-commerce is that your business communicates with a group of people on multiple communication mediums. That is all you do. You communicate with a group of people via email and advertising mainly. Now, at first it was only email. When I first started, what I thought a brand was, was an email list. And then round about 2011, pixeled audiences came out where you could drop a pixel on someone's computer and follow them around with advertisements. And Email and ads are still the big two, but email is actually at this time still the most important communication medium. My viewpoint is that your brand, and my brand does this, should be generating 30 to 40% of all the revenue you make from email. Now, I wanna share with you a few of the main email sequences that we use, but first, there's four main types of emails that we send. When we send an automated email to someone who abandoned our shopping cart or something like that, someone who took an action on our store and we have their email address and then we email them, or when we just manually broadcast a group of people, we only send four different types of communications. Here's what those are. First, trust builders. What a trust builder is, is it's a communication that's designed to build trust between the prospect and the brand. And you'll see examples of this in a minute. So trust builder emails can be social proof. Those are like customer testimonials. They can be science and case studies. So anything that is, you know, uh, proven about your products or proven about your brand or reasons people like you or the way that you make, it could be manufacturing process transparency. That's a very good type of trust builder. Hey, this is how we make our product. So anything that is transparent, that's about why people like you, that's about what you do as a brand, any communication that's designed to build trust between your brand and a prospect. The next type of email we send is content. And what content means is essentially, it's not a sales email, it's a piece of content. It's something that's going somewhere other than your product page or your store or the shopping cart. It could be going to your blog. It could be a YouTube video that you found. You'll see some examples of content in a minute as well, but. The idea here is it's something that is interesting to your audience, that they're gonna find valuable, that they're gonna find engaging. And a lot of brands curate content. So what they do is they'll go to YouTube, they'll find a video about knife skills, and they'll send that to their prospects because they sell knives. So any piece of content that is relevant and engaging to the audience that is checking out your store. That's the second type of email we send. The third type of email that we send is offers. And offers are just what they sound like. They're when we are trying to sell our product. Hey, go check out this product for this reason. Hey, this product's really awesome and you should get it before it sells out. Hey, did you know we have this other product that you hadn't heard about yet or we have a new product? Anything that is a straight up offer for one of our products. That's our third main type of communication we make. And the fourth, type of communication that we make is tied right into that. It's a, a deadline. So basically, when we make offers, and you'll see this in a minute, oftentimes we are coupling those offers with some kind of discount and a deadline. Because in today's world, people are seeing advertisements. They're getting 150 emails a day on average. They're getting text messages. They're watching YouTube. They're all over the place. So if they don't have an incentive to take action, like, hey, this coupon expires in four days, they're not gonna take action. So you must use deadlines. So these are the main types of emails we send. Trust builders, content emails, offers, and deadlines. And those are the type of emails that you want in your automated communications. There's two, two main types of ways to communicate via email. One is automated communications where someone comes through your sales funnel, they abandon your shopping cart, and you automatically follow up with them based on that action. The second type of communication that you can make is a manual broadcast where you go out to your subscriber base and you manually send them a message at any time you want. 
In the next video, we're going to talk about the most important automated email sequence and it's only two emails and it will be worth most of the money that you make in your email automations. Meet me in the next video and let's dive into that automation. My name is Ezra Firestone. Thanks for watching. I'll see you there.